so great to be here in Montreal. Uh, last time I was in Canada was Toronto, and uh, and I saw a lingerie shop that's called uh, Secrets from Your Sister. Ooh. What are you guys doing, Toronto? <laughs> I have sisters. I was intrigued. I want to know what they didn't tell me, you know? <laughs> so I walked into Secrets from Your Sister, and one of the store employees looked at me, and she goes, you're adopted. <laughs> I was like, Hannah told you that, didn't she? <laughs> My sisters, I have two older ones, and we all played field hockey in high school. I went on to play field hockey in college, which is where I got these party thighs. <laughs> It's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know why I got some alls, but you guys know what field hockey is, right? It's a, it's a game you play with a long stick, one side's curved, one side's flat, and you have to get like really low to eat all the pussy. You guys know. It's, I love that game, it's so good. My sister now, uh, she coaches our old team, our high school one, so I like to go back and watch my, my alma mater play our rival. They're our rival because they were the only other team in the town. <laughs> But nonetheless, I go back, I watch, I see my mom, I get a jelly donut from my favorite bakery. And the last time I was home getting a jelly D, the woman that served it to me was actually my old field hockey rival. So it was kind of like winning that district championship all over again. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get it. I have worked in food service. I served two tours at a bagel shop. One was in college and I graduated magna cum laude and then I just transferred to a bigger bagel shop <laughs> after college so stay in school and then I moved to a bagel shop in Chicago and um, I was serving bagels like straight to my face uh, <laughs> just so so many bagels that I was eating and it was during a time in my life where I like genuinely thought that cookies were gonna go extinct. You know, so I was just like getting them all in there, you know, while they were still on the planet. It's tough to eat healthy, you know? I feel like it seems so aggressive to wake up and have an apple for breakfast, you know what I mean? <laughs> This is how I feel. I've convinced myself that if I wake up and I sneeze like one to three times, that that is enough exercise. You know what I mean? Just like tightens up the abs. <laughs> Plus, I have a love for pizza. I feel like if you are eating pizza and not choking on hot cheese, <laughs> you're tasting too much, you know? It's like... Oh. Uh. Plus, I like following it up with a dessert pizza. Uh, a cine stick, if you will. <laughs> and the last time I was dipping a cine stick into the sugar um, chemical, the chemical sugar dip, I was bringing it to my mouth and I noticed that there was a hair in it, like not from my head. <laughs> so I just like picked it out and got right back to work, you know. <laughs> just finished that right up. Eventually, uh, I hopped on the scale and, uh, and I looked down at the scale and it said 198. And I was like, <laughs> can we get there? <laughs> and we did, we absolutely did. <laughs> Two pounds, it's like one trip to a burrito shop. You know what I mean? I did it the very next day. <laughs> so those Facebook posts that are like six years ago today, <laughs> those aren't fun for me. Um, they're like, we here at Facebook care about you. It's like, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it feels like you want to post a photo of me from six years ago where I'm in a photo booth and I'm cramming a PBR in between my huge D cups to then just pour it into my own mouth. So it's actually pretty cool now that I <laughs> Less nostalgic more leaves me wondering like how I survived on so few likes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just a photo from six years ago of my mom's brand new puppy, three likes on it. <laughs> how did I get out of bed? Do you know what I mean? I don't know how I did it. Eventually I wanted to get in shape because I was tired of being brave at the beach. And so I started riding my bike along the lakefront path and there was always a guy near the entrance. I don't know if he had a home who's to know. He was just always there. And like three months into this workout regime, I pulled onto the path and he yelled out to me, how fit 
are you gonna get? <laughs> and I was like, I think I'm done. I just found the love of my life. So um, that's what a relationship is. It's like, is it safe to eat? <laughs> okay, we'll see you uh, 20 pounds from now. Uh, <laughs> I want kids, I just, I travel so much with this job that I don't know if I'm gonna have time to come home and let them out, you know? <laughs> it's something you have to consider. But my sisters have started their families and I was playing with uh, my sister's fresh toddler and uh, I got like real close uh, down to her face, you know? And then she scratched my face so bad that it drew blood, <laughs> so I just, bit off her smallest toe. <laughs> it was so easy. Um, it just the, came clean off. Uh, the closest, <laughs> sorry, it's not funny. Uh, it was tragic, but the closest that I have been to being a mom is just like if I get really bad gas, you know? So like after a big meal, I'll come home, I'll take off all my clothes, I'll find a full length mirror, turn to the side, and then just kind of like hold myself, you know? And then I look over and I just go, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take a pic, upload it to Facebook, wait for the likes to roll in, so. There's a few comments like, is it mine? I'm like, I have no clue, you know what I mean? <laughs> Right? <laughs> That's what's up. You guys have been so fun. Thank you for coming out and laughing. Yeah.